for the Prime Minister, tomorrow will bring another conflict. 24 hours after the drastic tax U-turn Liz Truss and her Chancellor Kwasi Karting are facing additional pressure tonight regarding potential benefit cuts. Despite those smiles, the pressure is genuine and severe. Today, our political editor Andy Bell pressed the Prime Minister on her response to the pressure and her continued refusal to rule out those benefit cuts or provide more assistance to the millions of households across the nation that are struggling to pay their bills. The two are working together in unison. The Federal Reserve raised interest rates in the United States to 4%, and ultimately the Bank of England decides on interest rates. Given one more chance, what would you like to say about rising interest rates globally? Look. I'm sorry that the actions we took and that many budgets left you out of pocket. I recognize that people are frightened and struggling, and the reason for our actions in the mini-budget was to address the energy problem. It would have been entirely incorrect to think that we should have done nothing. The next battle is about whether her predecessor will carry out a promise to increase benefits in line with inflation. No decision has been made, so my attention has been on making sure we're dealing with the energy issue. If you're not ready to commit to that now, what is the justification for not doing it? It will require further discussion. What about channel crossings and legal immigration in general? Does she want to see immigration down? Well, first of all, I want to deal with the small boats. We always have to make sure that we are helping people through the very difficult circumstances we're facing while making sure we're putting the United Kingdom on a strong long-term fitting. Although I've always been very clear that we should control our own borders and make those judgments, your predecessor had a specific target that he wanted to see. I don't want to see numbers going up, I want to see the right people coming in with the right skills that can contribute to Britain and a small boat. Do you think there's a way to... ...to do this by doing having arrangements with other countries before people get to the channel? David Cameron wanted to see 100,000 net immigration below that would you like to see numbers coming down or if you think it's the right thing for the country they can go up I don't want to see numbers going up, I want we will consider all solutions, but I do believe that one that is similar to, say, the agreement the EU has with Turkey over Syrian citizens is an option. Nevertheless, we must address this issue. She has received enough criticism to warrant the need for a hard hat, but she adamantly maintains that she is still in control. Upstream, we need to assist individuals in remaining in their own countries rather than embarking on what would be a very dangerous journey.